Hey there, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about the Einstein Convention, sometimes called Einstein Notation. I'm Ricardo Gomez, professor at the Physics Institute of the Federal University of Goiás. So the Einstein Summation Convention is a subject under the scope of the Index Notation, or Tensor Notation. Here you can see an introduction about the Index Notation, where we discussed about summation, Kronecker delta, levi civita tensor, and so on. So, the convention was introduced by Einstein in 1916 in his General Theory of Relativity. And it states that whenever an index occurs twice in a single term, it is implied a summation over all possible values of that index. So, in his words, in one of his books, Einstein wrote that we shall omit the sign of summation and understand that the summation is to be carried out for those indices that appear twice. So, the idea is, when you have a function like this one, y is equal to a function of the variables x1, x2, up to xn with these a coefficients. You have n coefficients. And you can use the Einstein convention to write this expression as y is equal to a i x y. There is a summation here where we, can, we, we will not write it. So, actually, this is y is the summation of a i x i, with i going from 1 up to n. So this is a simplification. It simplifies this expression. And the, the idea is that the Einstein convention simplifies equations involving tensors, vectors, matrices, or tensors in general. So instead of the summation of xj, xj, the summation on this index, j, instead of that, we may write xj, xj only, without the summation symbol. And in case j is equal to 1, 2, 3, then xj, xj is x1 squared plus x2 squared plus x3 squared. So, there is a summation. We have to consider the summation. The Einstein convention is very used, it is very useful in the four vectors. So, when you need to distinguish between contravariant and covariant vectors, then this term here, the product of x mu, x mi, for me from 0 to 3, then instead of writing this, you may write only this. And here a challenge. So, how to solve that? This product of two Levi Civita tensors is equal to 2 times this Kronecker delta here. So, how to solve that? you need to use or you need to consider the Einstein convention to solve this, this equation here. So, thank you very much.